Salutation citizens, Jackman here, bringing you Velvet Assassin. Uh, I think I should uh, preface this by saying that I'm not very good at stealth games, I think it's important you all know, but I do like the feel of Velvet, so this game's a bit of a mixed bag for me. Okay, that subtitle's come up a long time before anyone's actually started talking. Oh, it's... It might not even be a subtitle, it might just be telling me this. That was narration, apparently. I wish I'd read more of it. Oh, she's... She's very good at killing people. The box boasts over 50 different executions. I think you'd develop a favourite. You know, stick to one, make it your MMO. No, MMO, that's serial killers. I suppose the assassin is a type of serial killer, just a kind of... That was my true home. One for hire. I suppose, yeah. I suppose by definition, an assassin is a serial killer. Once they've killed a few people, hmm. yeah. They just gave me the title. You don't have to give it to me again. That's the third time I've seen the title since the title screen. You show the title once. Oh, you can show the title at the title screen. Show it again once during the sort of opening cinematic. Don't show it twice. That's just needless. I know what game it is. I was flown back to France to blow up a gigantic fuel depot, which the Germans had built in a bunker on the Maginot Line. I don't know if blow up is the military term for it. I would imagine maybe, uh, dis well, not dismantle, I suppose. Just, uh, dismantle implies a bit more precision than exploding something. Um, neutralize. Neutralize a, a fuel depot would probably be the correct terminology. Again, I don't know much about military terminology, so maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe blow up is fine. Maybe blow up was the correct term during World War II. Historically, it maybe have changed. Those units had one basic rule. Take no prisoners. Exactly like me. Well, you're a spy. I don't know how you would take prisoners. I mean, it's not... I mean, yeah, where would you take them? Okay, so there's my parachute. And my stuff in the parachute, and I can't. Alright, what my jet, what my controls? She has a whistle button! Ah! That's an improvement on the horn button. It's good. See, because they don't in German, I have to read it, they know what they're saying, which is distracting. It's very hard to talk about nonsense, read German, and. The tool tips that just come up again, which distract me, and also play the game semi competently. Oh, poor German guy. He was just having a nice drink. Oh, I can take prisoners. I suppose he's not really a prisoner anymore. Now uh, these, yeah, dead. Let's see if I can hide him in in these leaves over here. This seems like an appropriate place to hide a body. Yeah, that seems hidden. You wouldn't spot that unless you were walking a dog early on Sunday morning. Because that's when all of the people seem to spot corpses. Which makes me suspicious of dog walkers, if I'm honest. Now, I assume I killed him so that I could get continue that way. Which makes me want to see what's over here. The colour scheme's quite weird. Oh, pick up collectible. Knight's Cross. Let's have a look. Well, that's cross is one of the highest military decorations of the Third Reich. Oh! Yeah, you think if it was one of the highest military decorations of the Third Reich, you wouldn't leave it lying on a barrel? Oh, well, that's mine now. I'm now a decorated member of the Third Reich. And you can't prove otherwise. The colour scheme is quite weird. It's really orange. I mean, I know it's autumn, given I would assume it's autumn. And it's. It's either sunset, sunrise, or that's fire. Um, during, given that it's during World War II, it could be any one of those things. I do like a bit of vibrancy with colour in my video games. It's, um, it's not much to ask for, I don't think. I don't like too vibrant, you know, like you know, pastel colours. Well, actually, pastel colours are quite nice. I don't know what I like. There's two dudes. Oh dear. This is going to be my hardest assassination yet. Oh, come on, I was behind a wall. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn. Ah! Uh, he turned around. What do I do? Fire! 
Oh, I don't have my buttons. I can't. I don't have a punch. Oh. That's still mostly hidden. Okay, I learned from my mistakes. Uh, both of them. So, we wait for him to walk back this time instead of trying to get him at the top there. Oh. Where is my friend? I can't see his head poking out of the bushes there. Ooh, ooh, hang on. I can search him. What's he got? I looted his corpse. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure that is a war crime. Um, I'll look that up. And not to be encouraged. I suppose for a spy, they've got a, there you go, you're with your friend now. I suppose for a spy, um, they have to loot corpses and stuff to get intel. I remember hearing a story about how they would bring home, they would search through bins through like, uh, of, uh, uh, severed, all, severed limbs and stuff. So that they could get a look at the type of shrapnel they were using. Oh, thank I appreciate you coughing quite loudly for me. I don't have a radar, so it's difficult to tell where people are without them coughing loudly. Okay, there's a guy up there and there's a guy down there. Neither of them seem to really stop me from stealing all this stuff. Oh, she's having a fever dream about morphine. Okay, we'll just stare at your face for a little bit. Use morphine to freeze difficult situations temporarily. While in morphine mode, you can try to hide yourself or bring down a tough enemy even from the front. Other actions are not possible in morphine mode. So, even in a difficult situation, I just calmly find a vein, stab myself with some morphine, and uh, let it set in, and then I go to work. I'm in the bushes! Oh, I can't go up there. Oh, this is awful. I could use the move to increase my chance. No, I just died. I, I, I can't get the guy. If I can't figure out how to get to the guy on the top, I'm not going to be able to take him out, am I? I just going to hide from him. But I told you I wasn't really good at stealth games. I, I wanted to make that very clear from the get-go, uh, so that you didn't have any expectations of me actually being able to get anywhere in this game. So. Because you're injecting yourself with the morphine, it's not affecting, it's obviously not affecting them. So what it is, is it's speeding you up. Kind of like um, Fry drinking the uh, 100 coffees. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? I suppose I could try whistling, bring him over. We haven't done that yet. Nope, okay. Not interested in whistling. So am I supposed to use the morphine here? Is this the point? I was hoping I, I could get around it without using because this. I, I don't think the game should try and actively promote the use of morphine. I think it should be kind of like, if you suck, use morphine. But otherwise, try and figure out a way. Fine. Okay. So when you use morphine, you strip down to your underwear and you run. Yeah, that's what happens when you run really fast. Your clothes just fall off. It's impossible to enter the speed force without being a knighty. I don't think Flash never really had a problem. But maybe I think I think Flash would have been taken a lot less seriously if every time he went into the speed force, he came out in his boxers. He went all enemies silently in the Lost Valley. I don't have any other way of killing them, as far as I know. Just running up to them and stabbing them from behind is the only way I can kill them. The mishap with my lost equipment would not stop me. But without explosive charges, the situation was hopeless. I'm sure they keep the explosive charges in the fuel depot. That makes absolutely 100% sense. The Soon they would see what they were good for. Yeah, they were sure to. I know that if I had a fuel depot, I would keep explosives there. I now have a gun. So now I have a way to kill people. Oh, they've got a bike in here. That's nice. I suppose you've got to get to work. You've got to get to work one way or another. And, uh... Well, it doesn't look like it's seen any action in a little while, but, 
Yeah, I suppose you can't drive to a bunker. That'd <laughs> be silly. Where would you park? Oh, I've parked my car outside. Oh, but what if we get bombed? Oh no, my Astra. Um, actually, no, I suppose it would have been a um, Volkswagen Beetle during World War II. Hello. So what exactly was he watching? He's just watching. Yeah, he's just watching the, the woods in case things appear from it. Paranoid lot, these Nazis. I say, oh yeah. Okay, there's two of them there. Oh, he was walking towards me. I escaped. <laughs> Where could she have gone? Ah, oh, through the door? No, it's impossible. This is espionage. This is this is it right here. Okay, I saw a prompt come up that I didn't come up last time. Just break the fuse box. Yes, that probably would have made it easier to sneak forward. But also, let's make 100% sure that he's walking, he's not facing me when I try and walk up to him this time. Okay, I expected him to stop. That was my that was my fault. I suppose I should have um, watched his pattern from a distance before making any assumptions. I think it's no wonder she ended up in a bed uncomatose. If she's you know she's constantly advocating the use of morphine in every little situation. I suppose the more using the morphine is the, is a better alternative to uh, being shot. Looking through the keyhole. For some reason, my natural instinct back there was that someone was going to poke their head in front and into view, you know, like a jump scare or something. And then I realised this isn't a horror game. This is a uh, World War II stealth game. I suppose they might still do that. I suppose it would be the best place to do it because, for exactly that reason, you know, you've been looking the whole game through keyholes. You don't think, yeah, you don't. You're not expecting it because oh, this isn't a horror game. All, I, all I'm going to see is maybe a couple of Germans hanging around. Palling about, speaking, speaking their German. <laughs> See what I mean? That would be that would be scary. Either they expect me to do really bad. I mean, they give me two med kits in this area. Either they expect me to do really badly now, or they anticipated that I would do badly back there. The med packs lying around. That makes that's I suppose kind of reasonable. I mean, people have med packs lying around nowadays. They're just you know stuck on walls and stuff in case of accidents and. Emergencies, I suppose. But the morphine lying around, that tells a tale. I mean, I know it's obviously there for the the point for the game, so that because you need the morphine to dope yourself up into super speed. Which is not a sentence I ever thought I'd hear myself say. But it seems odd that the Germans would have it just lying around like that. I mean I don't know, was morphine quite Abundant during World War Two. I mean, were people just? I mean, I suppose yeah. I, I do. I do remember hearing them about sending like care packages and stuff to the front lines that had just all sorts of drugs like cocaine and heroin and speed. I, mean, I suppose it wouldn't be too absurd. I mean, I suppose when you're fighting total war like that, it's that's the time you want to use it. Careful, broken fragments. Creeping silently over that was impossible. These Germans with their broken glass lying all over the place. They need a cleaner. That's what they need. Or maybe to be less careless so they wouldn't break the glass in the first place. I mean, it's the war. Glass is at a premium. And that guy just wandered off. Is he going to come back? And then board away. And dead. These letters often contain useful information. Very interesting. Oh, okay, let's see if that's if that holds true. Please don't worry about me. We are even safe from airplanes here. What could happen to me? That's just that's like a line out of a horror movie of a character who is about to die. I mean, I assume Carl is one of these soldiers in this bunker, which means he is about to die because I'm going to kill everyone because a good assassin leaves no witnesses. But um, yeah, they shouldn't telegraph it like that. That's a death flag right there. Also. Um, I, I, it's nice that she reads it out. I think it would have made more sense if the letter was in German and she read out in English, so that you'd have to sit there and listen to her reading it, rather than it being in English. Although I suppose, actually, I suppose that would be unfair for deaf people who don't speak German. 
Oh dear. Mischick. Yeah, mischick to you too. Jerk. No faffing about. Oh. Sure, I hit him all three times, but uh, whatever. Okay. So that's what I get for not faffing about with the radio. There's no point taunting me in German if you're not going to subtitle it because I don't know what you're saying. Okay, I'm sure you're saying something very witty, very one-liner. Oh, looks like this time I was the assassin. Or. I guess that's why they call her an ass assassin. Actually, they would have gone an ass assassin because of the skin tone of the trousers she wears, which I can't imagine are very comfortable. But I suppose offer, I suppose make the, the whole stealth thing easy. Dark, you can't see me. It's dark, you can't see me. It's dark, you can't see me. And now you're dead. This is an odd conversation. I think they're talking about French cigarettes. Yeah. I'm with you, other German guy. That other German guy seems a bit unhinged. Maybe it's all the morphine. That is an uncomfortable position to die in. I mean, look at that. I mean, not that he cares anymore, I suppose, but, uh... People are going to think, when they find this body, or if anyone finds this body, they're going to think I posed him like that. Like, maybe I... This is my... This is my... M.O. as an assassin that is that I put people in the crab position. I'm going to be starting calling him the crab killer. Which just makes me sound like I have really bad case of pubic lice. Oh, he's a sleepy Nazi. Oh, hello. Two sleepy Nazis. God damn it! Right. I'm sure his head is in the centre of that crosshair. Great, okay, that only cost me, took me four bullets. Learned only the direction by whistling. Right, so this was where I was supposed to whistle. So the gun, rather than the morphine, the gun is that if you suck, use this weapon. So neither of these two really minded by the gunshots hitting it, pinging against the wall while I was missing that guy. Yeah, you sound like you could use some cigarettes. Yeah, he sounds, he sounds a little crazy. Yeah. You should take so much morphine. This has been my point all along. Bye bye crazy German morphine man. Yeah kids, uh, don't take morphine. I say as I take morphine, because I uh, screwed up. Okay, morphine, useful against one person. That's not going to get two, I've discovered. Oh, uh, god damn it, it's so hard to see whether he's turned around. I think shooting him was probably the better option, but I am going to try and whistle. You know the whistle, right? Oh, I forgot to move his friend this time. But it's dark, so he can't see him. Hmm. That's tricky. Right. What I'm gonna need to do There we go. Much easier. So now I have to listen to this stupid conversation again. To be honest, so far they're not really portraying the Germans as being um like overly villainous so far. I mean as far as normal infantry go, which I suppose is a good thing. Uh well, not necessarily a good thing, I think it's a morally neutral thing. But I suppose it's interesting that they don't, if they're not two dimensional. I mean, these are just, I mean, some of them are crazy from the morphine or post traumatic stress disorder, I guess. Some of them are just normal people. They're not going around going, ah, oh, let's, let's kill the Allies. Damn the English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, they're just dudes. Ah! I'm going to run away in my underwear. You can't stop me. Well, we did see a woman, but she suddenly stripped down to her nightie and then ran through the hallways. And we thought, well, 
clearly we've we're hallucinating. I mean, there was a few dead soldiers in the, in the hallways, which was uh, a little upsetting. But, uh, I mean, what day don't you find dead soldiers lying in the hallways? It's World War Two. No, oh, I don't have any morphine this time. Okay. Getting bored of this now. We just shoot him, but he seems pretty easy to to stab. Nope, 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 nope. Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. You're just hearing things. It's just, it's the morphine. It's the morphine. It's making you hear those alarms. Everything's fine. There's not a noir lady running around killing all the Germans. That would be silly. What if, what if you told your commanding officers they think you were insane? They'd have you court-martialed. It's just, it's better not mentioning it. Unfortunately, due to the Germans' plentiful supply of morphine, I'm morphined up and healed, ready for the next encounter. Hey, a checkpoint. Fantastic. Okay. So we have to do that again. Door was electrified, was it? Okay. Probably shouldn't have done that. I think there was a medipack in here that I can uh, probably hear for that very reason. So, there must be some source of electricity somewhere. A power source, if you will, that I can turn off. Hmm. Well, I'm sure this does something. Not entirely sure what the lever did, but it got that guy away. Really? That's all I needed it to do. So, let's not look a gift horse in the mouse. Mouth? Let's not look a gift horse in the mouse. But we'll stab a Nazi in the throat. Very nice. That would do to blow up the fuel depot. I still, you know, doubt. I'm still wary of the fact that they would put explosives in a fuel depot, even if they put it behind an electrified door. I still think that would be just a wholly bad idea. Now, let's keep going up the stairs just to see if there's any. It's probably a collectible, like a hat or something at the top. Yeah, there we go. I've got a telescope. I knew there'd be something up here. Okay, checkpoint it again. Right. This time, gas masks. Now, I've got the explosives. I've got the gas mask. I'm going downstairs now. Gas, Get into the gas storage and place the explosives. Yes. This seems to be where I need to be. So he's accusing him of being a thief and stealing his chocolate. They're having, they seem to be standing quite amicably next to each other. Then, you know, there's no... If I didn't know German, I wouldn't know they're having an argument. Hey, don't spit at me when you talk. He's wearing a gas mask. How would you be able to tell? I'm not going to be hasty because I don't want to listen to this stupid chocolate conversation again. That is an incentive. That is a very good incentive for a stealth game not to balls it up. If they, if they threaten you with the promise of having to listen to a stupid conversation about chocolate every time you make a mistake, that is more incentive than any sort of you know, end of mission, ranking, or anything like that. Oh, that's cheap. That is cheap. Oh, God. i got to listen to that stupid conversation again. So this conversation wouldn't be so bad if... Maybe I had stolen their chocolate earlier on. Yeah, maybe it was a collectible or something. Or maybe I just went, oh, chocolate, yum. And then they're arguing about the other, each other stealing their chocolate. And I can be sitting in here going, tee hee hee, I've got your chocolate. Because I noticed when I failed last time that there's another guy around the corner. But he sits there for so long with his back facing against me, I think I can probably get him. Maybe not. Maybe I can whistle him. Oh, I can't whistle with a gas mask on. That makes sense. Considering he was arguing about his chocolate and quite upset, he seems to be quite jocular now that he's... Uh... Okay, I'm not sure how he spotted me, but it doesn't matter. I had my morphine. Oh, I think there's a shiny back here. Yes, there is. Got a pocket flask. So, yeah, harmonica, telescope, rings. Silver cigar. I mean, the silver cigar box at least has sort of some sort of monetary value, I guess. 
got the pocket flask. It's a nice flask with cheap looking stuff. It just makes me think that she's a kleptomaniac or some sort of hoarder. She I think I'm supposed to put the bomb somewhere, but I'm not sure. I assume that I would get a prompt. Maybe I can climb up onto this thing. No? No? Okay. Oh, and then there's a box. Ah, okay. I think I got it. Gas mask grunts sound creepy. Whoa! Why do they always set the timer so low? Yeah, I assume they've given me the shotgun because I'm going to have to shoot my way out. Well, this does make for a sort of fairly cool action scene. If you just set the timer slightly higher, you probably could have just, you know, snuck out, detonated it from a distance, or, you know, let the timer go. You killed all the people in the room. But, uh, whatever, you're the expert. What do I know? Except for one door which led down into the crypt. Is there any reason why we haven't locked the door to the crypt? Well, <laughs> if someone wants to go into the crypt, they can do. That's quite a nice effect. When um, it saves you having to draw the background, you just draw a nice silhouette and then put a lot of bloom behind it. It's back fond memories. Or maybe Paris is on fire. Again, it's hard to tell. Oh, God. I've been running around, I've been standing there running, jumping back and forth, staring at the sunset, and there are Nazis here. Always the way, isn't it? Try and enjoy a nice sunset in Paris, and Nazis ruin it. Nazis ruin everything. Huh. I wonder if I can dump them in the sea. No. Yeah, music box. Oh, yeah. I don't think really you've got the moral high ground when you talk about the Germans stealing all the artwork and stuff and being lord of the tucker god. When you're just walking around and pinching things that you find lying around. God knows where you keep it, because, I mean, your clothes are all completely skin-tight, and um, you'd think a music box would create some sort of unsightly bulge. I just figured out that if I press L trigger, she brings out a knife, so I can actually attack. I could have attacked earlier, but I didn't know that. The reason I, know, the reason I tried that is because I noticed that she's got a holster on her back, but no gun. So I don't know what happened to the gun that she had a month ago. Maybe she dropped it. Maybe she, maybe she pawned it with all the other stuff that she pinched. Maybe she's got a gambling addiction, or a mor well, it's actually a morphine addiction, I suppose. We know that she's got a bit of a morphine addiction, and the fact that she's comatose in bed at the start of the game. I don't know why she doesn't have a like, silence right, why she's, you know, relying on picking one up. That seems to be a very unreliable way of, uh, of getting one. I'm sure, I'm sure the Allies could have probably paid for a, uh, paid for a gun for her. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, it's all good. It's all fine, everyone. Just as you were. Down you go. Oh. 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 I'm not sure what happened to his body there. And surprise! I was trying to throw him off here and something happened. Yeah, no, that's the guy I stabbed down here. Oh, no, wait. He did fall down. Hooray! You might think, oh, well, surely these conversations, times when, you know, the two people are there, you can sneak round them or, you know, sneak past them or something. But the game rewards me for killing them all um, at the end of the end of the mission. It tells me how many silent kills I got, and if I manage to get all of them, I get a better result. I could shoot at the oil pools to set the enemy on fire. <coughs> Yeah, you could if you had a gun. You know a gun. Unless you're going to shoot him with your knife. I would like to shoot the oil pool to um, set him on fire, but you've reluctantly, reluctantly given me a gun. I think you've given me, not given me a gun. Oh, I do have a gun. How do I? Oh. D pad. I do have a gun. Right. Okay. Me, I was talking out my ass earlier. <laughs> I hope that was more impressive with someone on it because without anyone on it, that was silly. Mm, oh, just a pool of oil there. Okay. Okay, not the best fire effects, but we'll let that go. 
but um, I would like to find that's not incredibly stealthy. The fact that it told me to do that over there with the other guy, I think that if I'd set him on fire and he'd screamed to death, the guy standing there might have noticed that. Just a thought. Uh, I panicked. Ah. There's a toilet. There's a giant heart-shaped hole in the front of it. I mean, who wants privacy when they're going to the toilet? You got toilet shanked, boy. That's what we call that in the assassin trade. Okay, not sure how he saw me from all the way over there, but uh, he seems to be the last person left, and I've got some morphine, so... Hello. Um, oh, I didn't have any morphine. I was going to use one of my morphine prances to take care of one of the other ones. Where am I? Oh, I'm not doing all that again. Oh, see, and that's the end of Violet Summer. A morphine addiction made her careless, and uh, the Nazis won the war because of it. And everyone in history books remember forever how Violet Summer failed us all. Moral of the story, don't do morphine.